Hi, hello everyone. Today our chapter is chemical bonding part 4 which is a continuation of part 3. In this we are going to know about coordinate bond, conditions for the formation of coordinate bond, formation of ammonium ion, formation of H3O plus ion and lone pair of effect of oxygen atom, formation of H3O plus ions in an acid, self ionization of water and formation of hydroxyl ion okay first we'll know about what is coordinate bond see this is the bond formed between two atoms by a pair of electrons that pair of electrons is completely provided by one of the combining atoms and this is known as coordinate bond or it is also known as dative bond example ammonium ion hydronium ion okay next if you come to Conditions for the formation of coordinate bond. You have understood now what is coordinate bond. It is the bond formed between the two atoms by a pair of electrons and that pair of electrons is completely provided by one of the combining atoms. Okay. Now if we come to conditions for the formation of coordinate bond that is what are the conditions required to form this bond. See, one of the two atoms must have at least one lone pair of electrons. There should be at least one lone pair of electron. Example, ammonia and water. Okay, next. A pair of electrons which is not shared with any other atom is known as the lone pair of electrons. Lone pair of electrons means it is not shared with any other atom. That is lone pair of electron. But it can be provided to the other atom for the formation of coordinate bond this lone pair lone pair of electron is used to the formation of coordinate bond okay now what the second condition second condition is another atom should not be short of at least a lone pair of electrons okay there should be uh, there should be no short of at least one lone pair of electrons example hydrogen ion next uh, there's a cord that is a coordinate bond can also be defined as the bond formed between an ion and an atom. See, this is a bond formed between an ion and an atom of a polar covalent molecule. Polar covalent molecule is what? There is an unequal sharing of electrons, right? With one or more lone pair of electrons. So, a coordinate bond has properties of both covalent and ionic bonds and so it is known as co-ionic bonds. Why? Because it has both the properties of covalent and ionic bond. It is known as co-ionic bond. Okay, next. The atom which provides the electron pair for the formation of coordinate bond is known as the donor. See, the, the providing of electrons atom is there, no? that is known as donor and the accepting ion is known as acceptor. Okay, now if we come to formation of ammonium ion, what happens here? Nitrogen atom has five valence electrons. Okay, they are having five valence electrons and hydrogen atom has one valence electron. What has happening here? For one nitrogen, there is three surrounded. Yeah, so what happens? Each three hydrogen will get paired with nitrogen all the in that five electrons three hydrogen will co combine and they form duplet ele duplet electronic configuration see in ammonia each of the three hydrogen atom are bonded to the nitrogen atom by a pair of shared electrons okay here thus the nitrogen atom in an ammonia is left with the lone pair of electrons okay what is happening here is lone pair of lone pair of electron is formed Okay, see here you can see this is a lone pair and this is the shared pair of electron with hydrogen. Then, now this ammonia molecule combines with a hydrogen ion. Now it is combining with one more hydrogen ion which has no electron in its outermost orbit in such a way that lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen atom is shared to hydrogen ion. See the lone pair of nitrogen atom is shared to hydrogen ion. The latter thus acquires the helium configuration and so that attains stable electronic configuration. Okay, this bond which is formed between the nitrogen atom in ammonium and hydrogen in is known as coordinate bond. See, the bond formed between nitrogen atom and ammonium is known as 
coordinate bond see in this picture you can see it clearly this is ammonia molecule it is added to one more hydrogen and thus an ammonium ion is formed you can see covalent bond is represented by a single line and if you see co coordinate bond is represented by arrow symbol this is how ammonium ion is formed okay next um, now formation of h3o plus ion and lone pair effect of oxygen atom okay hydronium ion formation is similar to ammonium ion formation okay this is similar to what we have learned in ammonium ion formation see water contains how many two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom yeah the oxygen atom has how many electrons in the valence shell it has six electrons in its valence shell okay two hydrogen atoms share one electron with in that six electrons two hydrogen is sharing okay remaining four are there in this picture you can see neatly see hydrogen has one electron one electron this is middle is oxygen it has six electrons in the valence shell what is happening here one hydrogen atom is pairing with one electron and one more hydrogen is pairing to one more electron and the remaining four are lone pair of electrons okay this is a bonding in water okay if you see here it is this the form of for this now the two unshared pairs of electrons known as lone pair of electrons do not participate in the bond formation in water molecule okay this is how uh, this h3o plus is formed two hydrogen atoms share one electron is to form a water molecule the two unshared pairs of electrons known as lone pair of electrons do not participate here even here there is a lone pair of electron okay now the whole oh bond in a water molecule are polarized due to the large difference in the electronegativity values of the oxygen and the hydrogen atoms okay the oxygen atom has an electronegativity of 3 3.5 while that of hydrogen atom is 2.1 therefore a molecule of water is a polar molecule and is represented as alongside you can see a picture how the h2o structure is showed okay next um, formation of hydronium ion that is h3o plus in an acid okay what is happening here when an acid is added to water strong dipole interaction what is that inter uh, dipole interaction is attraction between slight positive and slight negative charge okay that interaction dipole interaction is happening be uh, between uh, acid and uh, water that occurs between the polar water molecules and the polar acid molecules this is happening between what acid and a uh, water okay what is that strong dipole interaction is happening as a result of such a dipole interaction the hydrogen ion gets released from the polar bonds of the acid molecules here hydrogen is getting released okay the hydrogen ion spontaneously adds on one of the two lone pairs of electrons of the oxygen atom of the water molecule see here you can see neatly here hcl plus h2o see hcl is an acid h2o is a water what is happening this hydrogen is coming to coming together with water and forming h3o plus that is hydronium ion and chlorine is getting separated this is how hydronium ion is formed in an acid okay addition of such released h plus ion to a lone pair of electrons of the oxygen atom see in h2o there is uh, oxygen has one more lone pair electron that is uh, formed between hydrogen and oxygen and so h3o is formed okay addition of such released h plus to a lone pair of electrons of the oxygen atom of the polar molecule leads to the formation of hydronium ion okay here you can see this is a detailed picture hcl is uh, splitting up into h plus and cl minus and if you take uh, h2o here h plus and o is that this h will come and this h is reacting with h2o that is h plus plus h2o here three hydrogen atoms it becomes and forms h3o plus see here the bond formation is like this h h this is the covalent bond and there is a co coordinate bond between oxygen and one more hydrogen 
and this is how the structure of hydronium ion is formed in an acid okay next self ionization of water see water molecule contains two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom a positive hydrogen ion is formed when water ionizes okay h2o is uh, dissociating into h plus and oh minus and this is a reversible process okay this h plus ion is transferred from one water molecule to the oxygen atom of the another water molecule see this h plus goes and reacts with one more water molecule and there is a formation of h3o plus ion that is hydronium ion okay now thus h3o plus and oh minus ions are formed by water molecule so here you can see see this water is splitting up into h plus and oh minus you have got your h plus right this h plus is reacting with one more molecule of water and hydronium ion is formed okay by overall reaction what is happening you get oh minus and hydronium ion okay see by two molecules of water you get hydronium ion and hydroxide ion this is about self ionization of water okay next formation of hydroxyl ion what is hydroxyl ion oh minus the hydroxyl ion is oh minus it is found when one hydrogen ion that is h plus is removed from the water molecule see in the previous slide only we have learned how oh minus is formed that h2o gets splits apart that is one h plus and oh minus is formed okay giving the following structure you can see here h2o that is h2o gets into h plus and oh minus see structure of hydroxyl ion is like this okay this is about the formation of hydroxyl ion okay thank you